Hi, Anti Society! Welcome back to the Anti Social Planet, and today we are checking out Shan's Paradise the Piano version because I promised I was gonna get to this as soon as possible, and I am not ready to get let go of the song yet. <laughs> like, my brain is not ready, my emotions aren't ready, even though I know that the piano version is probably going to wreck me because the normal version did. I gotta, I have to, I have to know, and I have chosen to put myself through suffering once again and taking you along for the ride <laughs> because this was your idea okay i've had so many people tell me i have to check out the piano version so this is where this is why we're here okay so let's just get into this because i need to i need to know i have to have some kind of conclusion to this whole saga everybody get situated because this is gonna be a ride Who is playing the piano? I'd like to, some information on that one. Okay, she's like changing some of the melodies too like she's changing the way that she's approaching it which i think is so good because i talked a lot in my reaction to like the full original song about how she controls the energy of the song this is a very different energy right because it's not going to have that build up to the crescendo of like the chorus crashing in with all the production the synths the percussion all that stuff coming in it's just going to be the piano and her voice so she's changing the way that she's approaching how she's singing to fit with the energy that's shifting here, right? Because it's more about the storytelling. When you have something stripped down like this, you have to fit more into the storytelling, the emotion, the personal connection between the audience and the singer in the song. You can't just like rely on like, I don't know, other elements to the song. You don't have backing vocals. You don't have other instrumentation. You can't have like breakdowns and all that kind of stuff. So you have to be able to completely tell the story on your own with like a spotlight on you. So I love that she's changing up. She isn't quite as light at the beginning, which I think is really good. She's still keeping that kind of lower subdued tone to her voice, but she's still hitting those higher things. So so I'm saying like lower in terms of volume as opposed to like the actual notes that she's hitting. Do we know who's on the piano? Are there credits? I don't see exactly who it is on the piano, but I would like to, to shout them out because I love piano. I could only play very little of it. It has been a long time since I've sat down and played a piano because I don't own one. So it was just when I had access to one through other people, but I love it so much. I love the sound of it and also she looks lovely very like old hollywood which right up my alley so uh, i want the dress i'm already like feeling the emotion building up in me though Her The way that they took out there to had like the breath was left in is so good like that pause and you can hear her breath that she takes there i also really love how she's doing this like swell to her voice so i don't really know what the technical vocal term is to it but i remember when i was training as like a vocalist when i had like a vocal teacher um one of the techniques that we learned is that when you're hitting a note you kind of like pushing it louder with the note and then quiet again i don't really know what the technical term is that for that but someone can let me know but she's she's doing kind of a similar thing here where she's kind of like pushing the note to get a little bit more closure and then 
she's pulling back she's lightening up a lot and letting more breath through and letting her vibrato come out too so it's adding this kind of like vulnerability and like fragility to the way that she's singing which is really lovely i'm also getting distracted by the piano like the the melodies that it's they're choosing and stuff like that but like oh that pause with the breath when i was expecting us to get into that like paradise part where it had kind of a breakdown in the percussion where that's like taken out but we've added a different narrative element into it which is really really cool Run away, The piano is following the synth from the original. gonna have to go back to that i'm getting slightly distracted beautiful i love that we pulled that part forward because we do have that breakdown in like the actual percussion in the original or production in the original so we don't have all that in this one so pulling that part from the bridge forward is just beautiful wonderful like vocally anyway just like how focused we can be on how gorgeous her voice is i don't really know how much more i can add <laughs> So like the details of that from my previous notes which is super super pretty and i love how the piano is matching the synth that was in the back kind of this eerie playful synth that was in the background of the production putting that into the melody with the piano is really nice like pulling that forward also i really like how in this version there's a different kind of acting to her in this as opposed to the previous clip where there was kind of like an intensity in the way that she was looking into the camera whereas in this version it's very open and very light and it still kind of fits into this feeling of like melancholy but it's far more open emotionally to the audience in a way that the, the first one wasn't which i really love i love how she's putting a different character into her facial expressions in this one as opposed to the other special clip so just like just little actor notes that i love too you're not alone, not alone, not alone now. how we pull the vocalizations like through that whole moment it's just so gorgeous like focusing more on like her emotions i love the way that she kind of lets the note fall uh which is really beautiful because i don't know it, it has that kind of feeling right of like the whole song of like this rising of like hope but still kind of falling back into like where you are even though you can like imagine this possibility you're still kind of falling back into old patterns so just having that in the vocal melody there's some great times where she just brings in this all this breathiness into her voice which is gorgeous and i love how she can switch from that closure and then really like opening up and letting all that breath through just like why is she so good i mean i know why she's good but like she's so talented it makes me angry you know what i'm talking about <sighs> She like lets it fall. Ugh.
know that we're getting close to the end, but I love how she has so much more closure here. Darker sound to her voice, flipping up at those certain points. And I love that this is the moment we have the paradise way at the end of the song. So instead of it being at the end of that first chorus, we've pulled it all the way to the end. I love how even the verses are like arranged differently in this song. Like it isn't just a let's sing the same song with a piano taking over like the main parts of the production. It's like completely rearranged even in like the order of the verses. She's doing different melodies. She's choosing different parts of her voice to use at different times. It's so good. I know why you guys wanted me to check this out but like how dare they? You know like you you know what I'm talking about like where someone's just like so talented it just like it makes you so angry. It's like cute aggression but talent aggression. And that's how I feel the more that this goes on. But I'm just like, I'm not that talented. Oh, I love the hum at the end. Just like really brings it down, subdues it, gets into like that lower part of her voice again after getting into those lighter falsetto notes at the end. I also love that when she was doing the vocalizations there and they were really light, she was letting her vibrato come out because again, it's adding that fragility into it. Stunning. Stunning. I really don't have enough good things <laughs> to say about her voice. Like, it's just, it's so gorgeous. She has so much control over it. I love how the song is like completely redone, not in terms of like ha losing like the core of what the song is, but really playing around with like the order of the verses, the way that she's singing it making sure that the story translates in this different format like it's not just a copy and paste it's like actually thinking okay what does this song mean now that it's like a ballad as opposed to the original arrangement and i just love that i love when artists do that because it just shows that it isn't just about performing the song as is it's about the storytelling and like what goes into making a song what it is but i hope you enjoyed listening to that along with me you can click this place to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe to next so you don't miss the next time i post a dream catcher reaction i will see you in the next video bye